Welcome back guys. Uh, so what we're gonna do in this video, I already have the the a uh, the, uh, couple of sample uh, images that I'm going to now upload and see whether the Amazon extract is, uh, will extract the information from those documents. So what I'm going to do, let me quickly go in here. Uh, let me hide that. Okay, yeah. Controls, uh, extract, strike, yep, yeah. and let's see where is my. I think I put them in 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 here somewhere. Let me quickly find it out for you. Uh, I build. Uh, I have uh created couple of uh couple of uh images. Let me quickly find them out, and then I'll I'll uh, uh come back. All right, guys, uh, I have identified uh, the location. Uh, it was on a different folder. So let me select the employee too. So you can see uh, I have this image. Let me quickly show you. And it's all fake image. Uh, I have got it from, from a sample database. Uh, so you can see it has a form part where you can see the, the employee information, their ID, first name, last name, email address, job title, and, and some notes about the, the, the employee. And on the right hand side, we have the, the order uh, history of, of that uh, employee. So pretty balanced uh, document that is going to help you to understand how the text track is going to uh, extract the, the respective part from, from the uh from the document so on the right hand side once i upload that uh, i have the option i can extract the layout form table same option like i've seen the the uh in the previous video but this time instead of using the the uh, the default images uh or document i'm using my uh own custom image that i built for for amazon text track and trust me you can build your own images and you can try and you will be surprised with the accuracy of of this service so let's as a first step let me just hit forms and let me apply it uh, i need to extract all the field information from this document and you can see we have a raw text raw text is going to identify all the field uh, all the data which has been displayed on on the form and you can see if i need to go to the form everything has been structured and sweet like we can see first name last name email address it has identified all the the form attributes but look it didn't identify any table information right so once you select form it's only going to uh, uh, detect the fields of the of the document and it ex extract those it's going to ignore the the table if we need to to uh, 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 if we need uh, to identify or detect the table, we need to either specify alongside with form, or if we just need the table, we can just mention the the table. So pretty powerful. Like you can see the accuracy in 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 here that all the uh, all the fields have been extracted successfully. Like join the company as a sales representative. Uh, was promoted to sales manager and was then named uh, vice president of sales. So the exact text that has been added under the notes. Anyone you can see the notes is the the right field underneath. We have that text right. So uh, pretty good. Uh, let's see if I can redo reset the demo. Let's see if I can just you know. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reload the, the document again because uh, unfortunately the option is not in here uh, on the on the interface. If you want to redo uh, uh, or if you want to extract the table information, uh, you have to uh, uh, redo the whole process. So which is fine. What we can do, let's select the same document again 
and uh, we this time we're gonna do the table. But uh, tell you the truth, uh, generally we don't do it manually. There is no point for for using it manually for for one uh, or uh, multiple document, uh, right? Because the whole purpose for machine learning or these sort of services for a complete automation, right? So uh, with the lambda function, we don't need to do that exercise again and again. And we're gonna see in a moment how we can how we can do it, right? So let me just hit apply configurations. Again, the image is same, but this time, instead of you know extracting the 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 form information, what we ex are extracting, we are extracting the the table information. So you can see uh, the the table has been highlighted and the form information has been ignored. It has been highlighted because it has been detected as a as a information. But if I come in in the in the table. Uh, a, a tab or section you're gonna see i'm extracting the uh table uh part of the of the document so you can see it's just extracting these two uh, uh, uh these two rows which are part of the the table information sorry these three rows uh uh it's look quite ugly in in here sorry we have two tables so you can see uh uh, by the way, it has uh, uh, detected that this part as table as well. So you can see uh, because the layout uh, uh, seems to be a table, so it identified two tables on 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 the document. So you can see it just ignored the nodes because for nodes it considered it as a as a field, right? So that that's why. So some part of the the document uh, have been uh, identified on both, like it has been identified previously as a form, but this time it has been identified as form as well as table. Uh, but on the right hand side. This part is only identified as uh, as table. So let me quickly go back to to the previous uh, page, and we can see we have three rows that has been extracted. Uh, the the layout is pretty ugly, but normally we don't look into into this layout because what we're gonna do we're gonna store that information in the JSON format uh, into into S3 bucket as part of our automation or uh, all the solution that we have architect and uh, in the in the later step we're gonna store that JSON uh, output into DynamoDB table. So that that's that's the whole concept of text and I believe you have a very good understanding what this service is and how it works uh, with with the with the document and images and how powerful it is to 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 extract the information so please feel free to reach out if you have any any question or comment more than happy to answer otherwise in the next uh, video we're going to start building our uh, architecture that we have built as part of the uh, the initial solution so let me just quickly uh, bring it back on my screen so you can see uh, in the next video because we have done the uh, intro of of the text track now we are going to build the end-to-end -end solution uh, based on, on this architecture. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for, for the next one.